up youtube welcome back to the uh 12th episode of brickhead dragons and what we got going on today is um i've been getting uh, a lot of people asking me about how i make my roach child well here we go let me give you a little uh preview of uh how i get down man um first of all this is the main ingredient i know a lot of people don't like using dog food but man the roaches go through this stuff man i mean they eat this stuff and it's very very healthy um uh, blue buffalo dog food i even feed my dogs this you know i i, I breed pit bulls too so american bullies you know that's what I, I breed um but uh back to the uh roach child uh see make sure you get this kind or i mean you can get whatever kind you want but this is the kind i use it has uh, 26 percent. You probably can't see that. 26 percent protein in it, so it's uh, very healthy, you know. And then I top it off with uh, some just regular oats. You know, just some regular oats, you know, none, you know, none special. Then I use the fish flakes because they got a lot of protein in that. Uh, let's see, it got 42% uh, protein in this, so it's real good. And then um, I got other stuff. I use, uh, I'm, today I'm going to use the rest of these uh, little juvenile uh, bearded dragon little uh, foods, you know, the rest of that. Then um, uh, some more fish food, you know, use the rest of that. Then I got some uh, beta food for your beta fish. They mix this in with it i've been using this a long time too with it but uh let's go ahead and uh put in the calcium with it get some vitamins you know got the vitamins for it got the bee pollen you gotta have the bee pollen you know got the alfalfa powder you know and um the proactive proactive or probi probiotic okay my bad y'all bear with me you know what i'm saying but uh yeah this is good too you know you can get this to your animals it helps them uh digest food help them uh go to the bathroom regular and uh this is what i do so i'm gonna go ahead and uh mix it up so you guys can uh see how the finished product looks like and you know maybe you can do this at home for yourself you know with your uh, reptiles. Oh, and this is my blender, what I'm using. This on thing was only 20 bucks. Check it out. You know, perfect blender. Works every time, you know. Now let me go ahead and mix it up for y'all and come back with the finished product. All right, y'all. Uh, so y'all can see, about to mix it up. See all the ingredients in it. Uh-huh. Just take it and chop it up. Blend it up. Here go the finished product. I'm about to make up some more as you can see. You know, until this bag is full. I got the big boy. This is the finished product. This is how it looks. You know. Good stuff. The roaches go through it. I mean they love it. You know. And um, this is what they eat. Remember, blue buffalo. What is that? Lamb and rice? No, lamb and oats. Oat meal. Okay, so I really got some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I did use a different kind too. But uh, today I'm trying the uh, lamb and oat oatmeal. Um, I use uh, uh, fish, you know, fish and oatmeal. Or you can use lamb and oatmeal. It doesn't matter, you know. Fish flakes. It's all the stuff I use. 
You know what I'm saying? I already put my ingredients in it as far as uh, the uh, calcium. With, make sure you got D3 in it. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the D3. If you, you know, I got bitter dragons. So, you know, if you're using something else, you don't have to use uh, D, D3. You know, you, you can just use regular calcium. But uh, alfalfa powder, bee pollen powder, you know, and probiotic powder. You know, so that's what I use for the uh, road tree. All right, y'all, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'm out of here. Peace.